In this section, we're going to visualize the leaderboard. I've created a third section now in the outline. So let's start with our leaderboard. Why do we want to visualize it? Well, if we take a look at our leaderboard, auto ML models, and select the leaderboard, this is what we get. And we can see that there's a couple of things that are important. Um, first is the AUC and the log loss. These are two different measures that um, are ways of evaluating model performance. The AUC is what's used by default, but what if we wanted to use the log loss or, or vice versa? So um, we can see here that this model has the best AUC performance and the lowest log loss. And the log loss isn't always lower uh, for the highest AUC model. So um, it's a good idea to visualize these numbers because they don't jump out. The next thing is, is that there's a lot of data here too. And we may want to see how the model, um, all of the models are performing in comparison to each other. Uh, the last thing is, is that stacked ensemble and GLM. So there's information that's kind of buried in this model ID that may be important to us to, uh, because we may only want to use a certain type of model. So it's a good idea to build a, um, a modeling function to be able to help us handle uh, vi this visualization and really being able to make a good decision about which model we choose. Here's an example of the H2O leaderboard metrics that we're going to uh, be visualizing. This model performance comparison is essential because we can clearly see that the first three models have much better performance than the fourth through tenth. So it goes from um, roughly 80.87 uh, AUC drops to about 0.83 after that, um, going from three to fourth. And as you can see, this does a much better job of showing number one, the models, which models are exist in the model. And this just shows the top 10, but it also shows the AUC and the log loss in a visual representation. So you can actually see you know, how the models are performing in comparison to each other. The next thing is you also get the model position. So you have model position and the model ID. So you can see if we sorted by say log loss, which may not be in the same order as the AUC, which um, model position that would be in. Finally, you can see that the model type is identified visually by color. So at the bottom here, we have a key and that key tells us which model type uh, the, the color matches up with. So we can see the first two colors of the first two models are this kind of like uh, light blue color, and those are for stacked ensembles. The next one is a gold color, and that's for GLMs. Uh, the fourth one is a GBM, which is green, and fifth one is a dark blue, which is deep learning. Uh, and then we have a red for random forest. So these are the models uh, potentially want to hone in on if we want a, a certain modeling type um, and, and also to see if there's any sort of performance characteristics that certain models tend to perform better than others. In the next several lectures, we'll go through how to build this visualization so we can quickly get the H2O model that we want to, or series of H2O models that we want to evaluate. And we will then show how to create a custom plotting function so we can do this quickly.